Hello there, Taurus. I'm Michelle B, and I like to help you raise your vibration so that you can attract more love and abundance and soul purpose that is meaning into your life. And every once in a while, I like to create an astro tarot reading for you, astrology based tarot reading for you. And this is your December monthly reading. And so, considering Taurus, the astrology of what's going on presently and just Recently, you recently had your full moon in Taurus that was a solar eclipse and it kicked off the beginning of your of your time, your period. The next year and a half are going to be extremely beneficial for you and that you are going to be leveling up into where you want to be in love, in comfort and security, in, in art and beauty all around you, in connection with Mother Earth because the North Node is going to be in your sign starting on January 22nd officially. But that lunar eclipse helped you to download what you're going to be creating for yourself in the very near future. You're like, this is what I want. So you're like, well, how can I get rid of what is now? <laughs> so that's why I have this, I've created this affirmation for you for the month of December. It is, I easily release what no longer serves me. Because uh, you had the, the lunar eclipse in your sign, which gave you an idea of what you want. And now you have the solar eclipse closing out the previous north node in Sagittarius. The north node was in Gemini. The south node was in Sag Sagittarius. So you're coming full circle in the cycle that you were just in, coming back to embracing the spirituality behind everything that you do. And so you're like, how can I use my spirituality to release myself from the shackles of my previous life so I can be reborn into this new phase that I want to be in? I easily release by calling on my guides to help me to readjust my path. So keep that in mind as you're going through the month. I easily release the things that I don't want anymore. That means I don't dwell on them. I just turn my attention other otherwise. And then my guides will tell me when I need to act on something to let something go finally. When I finally need to make that call, I'm not going to be doing that thing anymore. just want to let you know. Or when you're finally taking that stuff and, and donating it. Or, you know, when you're finally telling that person, I don't want this kind of connection anymore. Right? You'll know when it's the right time to do it and it will be easy and it will flow, flow right out and keep your vibe high so that you can transition into the life that you want. It's very hard to transition into what you want when you're struggling from what you don't want. So our overview cards going forward, we've got the eight of swords, we've got judgment and we've got the queen of pentacles. I put a lot of focus on the center card when I'm go when I'm looking at these readings. So I feel like the biggest piece of advice that you have is release, release, release. Like this is mental constructs. The swords are all about the mental constructs that you're hanging on to that prevent you from moving to the next level. And that's part of the easy release is letting go of ways that you have, that you trap yourself. Attitudes that you have about love, about money, about who you are in the world that keep you from getting what you want. So when you go, when you tune into what it is that you downloaded that you wanted when we had this last full moon, when you had those downloads and you tune in, what are those critical voices saying? They're saying you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. Just because they're trying to defend you, those critical voices are like trying to protect you. It's your brain trying to do its job protecting you, but in fact it's trapping you in the same old comfortable place but i'm safe here as long as i'm tied up and surrounded by swords i'm completely safe so what the queen of pentacles represents it's usually virgo but it could very easily be you right now it's just a feminine earthy energy and this is who you want to be this is where your focus should always be is being on this this earth mama that is glowing from the inside out and always receives, always receives what she wants. She just has to untie those 
untie those ropes and, and you know, take the, the blindfold off and just reach out and take it. Just reach out and hold those things that she wants. And then finally, we have the judgment card. And interestingly, I asked for some clarification and I got the judgment card again when I was trying to find out a little bit more. And what I'm hearing is, it's that, remember I was talking about tuning into your spiritual guides. I'm talking about the divine. If you if you resonate with connecting to a, you know, a, a single God force, the universe, if you have guardian angels, if you have spirit guides, your ancestors, your higher self, I'm talking about tuning into the spirit and hearing them say, you deserve it. Their judgment is positive. Their judgment of you is positive and they want to give you the gifts. They want to whisper in your ear and tell you how to just get them. And so you're being directed to tune into that higher spiritual force that's trying to give you everything that you ask for. You just got to ask for it. <laughs> you just got to turn your attention. So it's going to be really challenging for you. It's just, it's not because you're some weak person or something, but it is going to be challenging for you to direct your energy away from what is negative, what you don't want in your life. Okay. You're going to want to keep going back to what you don't want this month. And you're just being guided, turn back away. Like, okay, I acknowledge you, but you're not what my focus is on anymore. I'm going to ignore you because I don't want you anymore. I'm just going to ignore you and not think about it. I got to keep this in my head too. It's just the way things are this month that your attention is going to keep going back to getting rid of things as you're transitioning the nodes. So just accept that that's happening and just refocus on what you do want. And it will be given to you. The spirits want you to have it. So now I'm going to pull some cards to look at your abundance messages. Abundance messages for Taurus coming on up. Let's see what we got. So I got a gaggle of, of energies, but I chose my three favorite ones that I think best represent what you have, the messages that want to come out for you for this month. And in the center, we've got the three of wands, which is you in your passion, going forward, not knowing what to expect, how everything's going to play out, but knowing that it's just going to work out. Um, and being excited about getting started. It's the energy of creativity. I did also have in that stack of cards that fell out when I was trying to shuffle. I also had the Empress, which is another very creative energy. So you've got a lot of creative ideas coming your way and they want to help channel you to your your future your present and future abundance so it's all about creating things with your mind with your heart and with your hands and even though you don't know what the next steps are going to be remember to go back to your guides and they will show you one little step at a time they'll say we'll do this one little thing today and then do this one little thing tomorrow and you'll go one step at a time and you're going to figure it out day after day, opportunities are going to come your way and you will know what to do when the time is right. And then we've got these two major arcana on either side, which is the world. These are your possibilities. And there's the devil trying to trap you in all those old familiar cycles, making you feel bad about being selfish. This is like the, this is the main thing that I'm hearing is like, if you focus on your true deep desires, in this optimistic time of Sagittarius, if you they're saying if you focus on what is important to you, you are selfish. You are bad. And if somebody else is actually saying this to you, they suck. But but if someone else is is actually saying to you that you're selfish and bad, it's only bothering you because you believe it. This is what I'm talking about with the with that eight of swords trapping you. Um, and I do feel like there might be a person that's actually saying this, but it's, it's also, it only bothers you because you're also, you also believe it. I find that people are most defensive when they believe the thing that someone else is accusing them of. Okay. If they actually like are struggling with that themselves, you're being told that you deserve all the downloads that you have. You wouldn't have had the downloads if you didn't deserve it. And the only thing like we are born 
these magical manifestors, but we're we're taught and we believe as we grow into old, you know, mature bodies from being infants to growing into being adults, we're taught that we don't deserve it. It's not possible. So we need to get back to that young, excited energy that you had on your full moon back on November 19th. We need to keep coming back to that, that naive energy that believes that anything is possible. Reparent ourselves, reset our subconscious minds to be able to accept what we deserve. The possibilities are infinite and you are entering a new chapter. And I feel like this is going to be so much more of a mental game this month. It's going to be so much more of a mental game for you than the actual physical work. Uh, affirmations and journaling are going to work wonders for you in this upcoming month. Look at this affirmation that came up for you. I have the power to create the life that I want. You do have, you got the power. You do have the power, but you got to believe it and it won't work unless you believe it. So you have to suspend that little, little uh, sarcastic voice that's like, that critical voice. It's like, whatever. What? It's never happened to all these other people I know. Therefore, it will never happen for you. You will never be rich. You will never be abundant. You'll always have to struggle for everything you want. That voice is talking to you like that. And you have to say, shut the fuck up to it. I'm not listening to you. And I want, I want you to just not be around anymore. So I'm going to go over here and just ignore it. Okay. All right. Easier said than done. I know. Love messages. Ooh. <laughs> judgment judgment in your love messages look at this all three no not all three decks i still have one more i still have one more deck look at all these judgment cards that came up for you taurus this is judgment is a positive card it's it's saying like your karma everything that you all the good things that you've done for other people is coming around back to you it's saying you're being smiled on by the universe. It's saying you have worked hard enough. You have sacrificed enough. You've put yourself on the line for others enough. And now it's time for the feedback to come back to you. And, the, and it's kicking off this month. I'm going to shut this because it sounds like somebody's jackhammering outside and I'm in my little recording studio. I just set it up. Uh, last night and that's why I haven't soundproofed it yet for the echo so apologize apologies for that but the show must go on right yeah you're in the tally of everything that's good <laughs> really what it comes down to is you're setting your you've been setting yourself up to have more confidence in yourself and to expect to be treated you expect to be treated in a better way and that's karma too right Everything you've done to put yourself to up level yourself economically has put you put yourself in a better position to be able to be pickier and choosier about who you're going to be connecting with. And that is what that that is what karma is all about. And that is why your guides are smiling on you and trying to guide you. They're not they're not like you've got more work to do, honey, before you can have this great relationship. They're like, you're ready. You're ready for that relationship. I love that. What else do we have here? The Hierophant, which represents Taurus in the Major Arcana. That's supporting. That's uh, that's the system. And that's interesting that we're also considering, as we're closing out, the South Node being in Sagittarius is represented by, represented by the Hierophant. And so it's like uh, the institution of um, the way that relationships are supposed to be that's still going on in your head. Like... It almost feels to me like there's an, for many of you, not all of you, but for many of you, there's an existing relationship that you feel like you need to close out before you're able to transition into a level up into a different kind of relationship. Like I said, not all of you, but some of you, because there's like this, there's this consideration about the way you should do things before you can have your karmic dues before you can get what you're what you're owed before you can cash in on what you owed you have to do the right thing all right so there's that going on and then there's the juggling do i really need to do the right thing to have what i want let's get some clarification on this with my itty bitty little 
Rider Waite deck, Nine of Wands in reverse. Ooh. You're just tired. <laughs> I'm just tired. I'm tired of defending myself from other people. Well, this is just all this is just all mental attitude, right? I mean, you get to have what you want. I feel like you, you're, you're afraid you're going to have to put up a fight for what it is that you want. But you don't. You don't have to fight anything for what you want. You just go get what you want. And that might mean having to sacrifice things that are physically, excuse me, things that are physically easy. So if you're already in a relationship and you need to close things out properly so that you can move into what it is that you do want, that may mean sacrificing um, your comfort and stability in the short term, but in the long run, your comfort and stability is going to be increased because I feel like you need to do some things on your own. This, this is, like I said, not for everybody. Hey, what about messages for everybody else? <laughs> the sun. The sun and for those of you who don't need to close out relationships you are getting what you want because you've done the work so for 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 those of you who are in relationships that are already working that are working and you the two of you or whatever that all, everyone involved has done the work to find out how to better care for each other you're leveling up into a better connection a better relationship for those of you who have already closed out relationships you're leveling up because you deserve it you're coming into your time in the sun okay so this really has to do with an institution paying your dues to it and that I don't mean a physical institution I'm talking about tradition right the expectations paying your dues to it and allowing yourself to accept an awesome situation coming down the pipe because you've done the work you deserve it you're being that's the judgment over everything that's in your life the karma behind what what's in your life is you did the work you get to go through the gate okay <laughs> final messages for my taurus final bonus bonus round i easily release what no longer serves me and i accept what I want. I easily release what no longer serves me. I focus on what I want. I focus only on what I want. Ooh. All right, we got the Six of Cups that's come up in reverse. Six of Cups energy is all about somebody coming back. It's nostalgia. It's nostalgia from the past. Um, somebody coming back around that you've had around with and it was in the reverse. If your if your um, in, intuition tells you no, don't do it. Okay, if someone tries to call you up from the past, don't go for it. We do have Venus moving into retrograde at the end of uh, the last week of December, week and a half of December. We have the so so watch out for that. That's when old lovers come back. For those of you who are concerned about that, I don't feel a good vibe from it. We've got the Queen of Cups that came up, and we also have that Queen of Pen Pentacles. So the energy is accept what's in your cup and allow yourself to be vulnerable. One more affirmation. My thoughts come and go freely. They do not define me. Just because you're thinking that you don't deserve something doesn't mean it's true. <laughs> Just because you're thinking that you're a bad person because you're so selfish, it doesn't mean that anybody else gives a shit. <laughs> it doesn't mean it's true. Just because somebody tells you you're selfish and just because you think that you're selfish does not make it true. And I think my attitude is if everyone was upfront about what their needs and desires are, instead of pretending that they're selfless all the time, the world would be a better place. People who have compatible needs and desires will find each other and they will make the world a better place. Okay, this is where I leave off. You love the reading, give it a thumbs up. Make sure and subscribe. Make sure and follow me over on Instagram. The link is in the description box. I will see you soon. Bye, Taurus.